Hashtag. Hey, Laura, how's it going? TGIF Friday. Uh, look at the weather's been well, kind of up and down, you know, how it is in Chicago, but I know it's going to be a really good week. And I kind of peeked ahead for Easter, and we're going to have a good weekend next weekend. But we are going to talk about awesome stuff. First of all, I'm going to say, good day, sunshine. Here comes the sun. Woo! What do you think about when you think about that? You know, uh, what do you think when you hear the word sunshine? I mean, we think of bright, cheerfulness, daytime, and so much more. I mean, sunshine just brings us with a happy smile, picnics, getting together with our friends, all kinds of stuff. But, you know, we always hear doctors that say that we should not be in the sun because it could cause cancer. Well, you know what? There's a lot of benefits for the sun, and we're going to talk about that today. And, you know, uh, besides the mood boost, the sun helps your body with so many things. It helps your bones. It helps the way you feel. And it has so many health benefits. And, you know, the one thing we're going to talk about today, and Debbie's going to get into it, is the fact of vitamin D. Here in the, in, in the United States, where we live, because we don't get a lot of sun, there's a lot of uh, vitamin deficiency with D. And D, when Debbie talks to you about all the stuff, the uh, deficiency in vitamin D could do to you, you'd be in shock. I would when I was reading all the different things. But to that, you know what I'm just going to say, for me, I am so happy the sun's out now. I'm so glad that we have the daylight savings time. We have more where it's lighter earlier at night. And I think it does. It brings everybody in a better mood. Mm -hmm. So with that, I'm going to send it over to you, Deb. Thanks, Laura. You are so right. I love this. And, you know, Lori came up with this idea about the sunshine. And it just is like such a great thing um, with Easter, new beginnings, you know, kind of thing. We're in this, you know. Also, Lori, flowers. What does the sunshine yeah, bring? I, I have flowers popping up and I love it. I, I like get so excited when I see them popping up, you know. So, um, but yeah, you know, guys, vitamin D. Okay, so this is something that we printed so we're not this is not our we're not you know experts on all this stuff again you know so and um both Lori and i had discussed this previously before we got on today about how we both have been deficient in vitamin d okay and when i found out i was deficient at one point in time um i actually had to be put on a very high dose that of a um you know a prescription of vitamin d is like 50 billion whatever or 52 whatever and you have to do it for a certain amount of time and then they test you again and then they make sure that you know um your levels are fine and then they tell you that they want you to take a certain kind of vitamin d on a daily basis which which I take vitamin D3. But when I went and had been deficient, she, um, my doctor was asking me all these questions. Do you feel like you have hair loss? Do you feel like you have aches and pains? Do you feel like your skin is dry? Do you feel like your metabolism might not be, a, like, are you tired? You know, all this stuff. And I said, well, yeah, but I just figured that that was like from old age, older aging. You know, I kind of like, just like fluffed it off, never took into consideration that those significant things were because of something. And so I want to I want to hit you guys all in the you know between the eyes right now to say make sure you're doing your annual physical and your annual physical includes blood work. Okay, don't and don't put it off because if there's something in there that's being triggered that you need to know about, you need to take care of it. Whether it's something that's alarming or something that can be fixed, like the vitamin D is a quick, a good fix. But do you know that your metabolism goes, you know, vitamin D helps your metabolism. Mm -hmm. It also helps it with your bones and certain liver and um you know different functions as well you know so if you're lacking you want so you want your body working at the best it can work you want your immune system working well especially because guys we know there's all these different things out there now you know what we're facing in the pandemic what we've had in past things you know just in general you know and so another thing that's as people get older but it doesn't even matter younger older you know our bones can get fragile and you do not want to break a bone and especially if you're aging 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 
there's times where there's bones that are broken that can't actually like ribs or, or hips and things like that that are very difficult for them to like can't put a cast on so of course what's it going to do it's going to slow you down and if you're if you're people like me and Lori, we don't want to be slowed down <laughs> you know we want yeah. we we, right, we want to do i want to enjoy life to the fullest okay i want to do everything i could possibly do and i would hope that you guys are in that that zone as well but really you know also another thing is it helps um, with your stress level. I didn't realize that, but it does. And it also helps reduce certain types of cancer, okay? So if you're not getting it from the sun, which um, funny kind of thing, you know, I, I can think back to, you know, senior ditch days and all this stuff and Lori and myself and a whole bunch of us will go to the Warren Dunes in Michigan, okay? And we'd go out there and I mean, we would just spend the whole day out there. We'd cover ourselves in baby oil, uh, yes. spray, spray sun in in our hair, we would come back tan. I mean, I don't think Lori put the sun in, but I sure put the sun in my hair. And we were like, we would get so burnt. Well, you know what, guys? I'll tell you one thing. Just in safety zone, I've had skin cancer. I've had it on my back. You know, so that's another thing I'm just going to throw in there. It's a little bit different going off the, the end here, but make sure you're doing your skin checks. Okay. So that in case you are going out and doing the sun, you are making sure that you're safe. Okay. So that's a good thing. But most, most importantly of all, make sure that you are getting the right amount of vitamin D and don't just take it for granted and go, Oh, well, I'm just going to go take a bunch of vitamin D every day. Okay. Find out what's right. Because some of these things that you're supposed to take, you're supposed to take at the right level. Okay. You don't want to overdo it because well, first of all, you're wasting money and then it's just going down the, down the toilet. Okay. So you're just getting rid of it. It's just, you know, not good. So, so anyways, with that, Laura, I know you probably got some things you want to throw in there too, about how you felt. Cause you were also in the same boat. You were vitamin D deficiency too. Right. I, you know, I, you know, I have multiple sclerosis. I'm sure people know that. And, you know, I was at my uh, neurologist one day and I'm like, I'm so tired. I, I hurt everywhere. I can't function. My mind is like goofy. I can't sleep straight. And he says, I'm going to do a vitamin D test on you, blood test on you. So he did that right away. And I got a call the next day and he said, Lori, you are so low with vitamin D. You have practically nothing in your body. So like Debbie, he gave me a prescription. And he had me take it. And then when I was done, I started doing the over-the-counter stuff. And then I continued to do it. And now with this pandemic, and don't quote me on this, they're saying that vitamin D helps you with the pandemic. Mm -hmm. COVID. I don't know how it does. I don't, I don't claim to know how it does. But uh, Gary and I have been taking it every night, religiously taking it. So that's really good. But you know what? You're not going to believe what else that he has sufficiency. I was like in shock when I was reading all this stuff. You know, schizophrenia can be activated. I mean, with schizophrenia, they could have a de deficiency in vitamin D. Wow. And, uh, you know, uh, there's also all kinds of other stuff. Like I was reading here, um, osteoporosis, I'm sure everybody knew that. Uh, preeclampsia. I don't know if anybody knows what preeclampsia is, but oh, it's, yeah. it's when you're pregnant and you can't hold the baby. And is that the best way to describe it, Deb? Mm -hmm. And uh, just, you know, everything, your bone density, everything. And, you know, um, there's also a thing called rickets. It's a childhood disease that uh, has something to do with the earlier signs of vitamin D deficiency. So you see the sun's not bad at all. And you know, like Debbie was talking about the sun and what we used to do. Oh my gosh, that was a blast. But you, know, <laughs> you could do the sun in moderation. You don't have to go out there and just spend the whole day out in the sun. I mean, we do have events that we have to go outside for, but you know, go out for 15, 20 minutes and get some sun. And we're going to talk about, I don't know if you guys know, but there is uh, a, an illness called SAD and it's seasonal seasonal um, affective disorder. And that is a disorder of people that don't have vitamin D. They go into depression, like in the winter and the fall. And it's a real, real disease, okay? And I know if you know anybody that gets kind of down when the weather is kind of crappy outside for a long time, it's called SAD. And with that, Debbie, I'm gonna have you talk about the lamps that they have available for this kind of thing. 
Well, I got to just say one thing, you know, um, I'm, I want to just mention that we've got so many people that have been watching us, okay, and we're just very excited about that, and um, I got this tip from actually Robin Demos, who is one of our viewers, and I love her, she's so sweet, and um, she was telling, we were talking about this, and um, I was telling her what we were doing for today, because she was asking, and um, it's called light therapy. Okay, and you can go, you can Google this, and I, don't, I know that you probably won't be able to see my little picture of what this, this looks like, but it's about, picture the size of a Kleenex box, okay, and the bigger ones, and then a little bit taller, and you can put it right next to you, you can put it in your bedroom, you can put it on your desk, and they're um, devices for treating it, and it, it's full spectrum lighting, um, and it's not the same as, okay, you can say, well, I put a night light in. No, it's not the same because the night light has a different cast to it. it, it it's like almost like a gray kind of thing or, or, or a shade like kind of thing. So this is actually um, something that is effective by using the narrow cones in your eyes. Okay, this goes way beyond me. That's why I'm reading it. And um, it's, you can, there are, there's a brighter light that comes that we can't exactly even see, it says, that is actually projected, okay? And so what, what this is doing is this, is this is helping you get through these times. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about how many people have windows in every sim single room, not necessarily, or, you know, like, are there desks for remote learning or business next to an open window so they're not and, and is that window even shining light into you so you're not getting it so you're going to put the light on up at the top of your ceiling but that's not going to give you what you need so these devices i looked at them they're not expensive at all you guys amazon's one of my favorite places you know but you can what a great gift holy cow mother's day father's day is coming up people have birthdays but for a, especially a person like you know you've got the remote work at home you know um how hard and difficult it is now this is kind of funny i have a neighbor who's the next block over he works from home now i'm out on my bicycle or i'm walking the dog or i'm, I'm driving down the street and he is constantly on his phone with his ear pods in his ear too walking and talking and sometimes I can hear him a little bit and he's like I can hear he's talking to people whatever maybe in his office or whatever but he's doing the outdoor thing getting some sunshine and working at the same time so we have talked about multitasking a gazillion times it's one of the things that we thrive on that's for sure and I feel like it's just a great great thing um you know I think again like I was saying a gift or just gift yourself you know something that you need that can help you you know so with that Laura I'm going to turn it to you and see what more more oh, yeah. you know, suggestions you have well you know when I think they first came out they're really huge okay and now they kind of made them small I'm just really wondering if a lot of these kids that are doing the homeschooling are suffering with this kind of stuff too and mm -hmm. I'm so glad but I look when I looked it up on Amazon and what you sent to me I was like amazed just how great it is it'd be worth it to get one for at least one a family, get it for a family member and see how they mm -hmm. do it. Uh, I'm sure it's not like it's gonna be like, oh, I got the raise today, I am really happy. But you know, it's something that will happen over time. Right. But yeah. you know, we're so excited that the summer's coming, but we got spring here and we got the mm -hmm. flowers blooming. The daffodils are coming up, the irises are coming up, the tulips are coming up. And one of my favorite holidays is coming up, Easter. But um, I just want to say thank you. We have 417 people now, and we're still shooting for that 1,000. So if you know anybody that really wants to come in here, tell them to come in to us, invite them. We are so excited about all the different guests we have in the future. Debbie's been working so hard. She's lined up all these great guests for the future. But I'm going to turn it over to Debbie. Okay, thanks. Oh, Lord, thanks. Well, you know, I'll tell you what, we are excited. And thank you, guys. We are really excited. I don't have it in front of me, but I want to say we're in two countries, okay, which is pretty cool, which I find to be really awesome. And we're in so many different states now. I know one week we were reading them out, and I think we're going to share that, like, maybe in next week it would be a good time probably to share that and tell everybody. But I'll tell you what. Um, we really are excited about what's in store and where we're going and what's happening. This is bringing new opportunities in front of Lori and I, which we had never thought would be 
the possibility and we're, we're making some decisions on some stuff that we might take part of and we're like this has been fun for us but it's also been very rewarding I mean super rewarding I mean we just like every week we get excited about what we're going to talk about when we go to research it we learn something so like you're never too old or never too young to learn okay you really aren't and I think it's just a really great thing so with that I just want to say that I hope that you guys can you know like invite people share us share us all over the place and you know Laura I'm going to ask you why don't you close us out okay I just want to say everybody have a good day and enjoy your weekend and don't forget friends helping friends That's right. bye bye thanks guys bye.